Hello everyone, this is Daniel Ismaili and on behalf of Ozen Engineering Corporation I'm going to show you some other features of Q3D This is a continuation of Q3D series uh, video that uh, we're putting in, out in our channel As mentioned before, uh, we are a light channel partner of uh, 3 years uh, in the whole US 15, 18 and 21 and uh, we cover uh, structure, thermal, fluid, electromagnetic and photonic if uh, you need any ANSYS uh, software or any consulting project please feel free to reach to us as I mentioned before uh, these are the uh, usage of uh, Q3D so I'll, I'll jump uh, uh, to the next slide in uh, today's uh, presentation I'm going to show you geometry I'm making it changes in the sweep to make it better uh, matrix reduction and I'll show you the result and then uh, in another one I'll show you the new geometry the matrix reduction and again the result so without further ado let's go to the model as you notice uh, this is the model that we work on last time if uh, this is new to you feel free to check out our last uh, YouTube so uh, the changes that we are going to make today is in the setup and especially the sweep part as you can see it starts from 0.01 gigahertz all the way to 2 gigahertz so we're going to add two rows here uh, make the spectrum higher and also include the DC part in order to do that you can select the, the number one and then so you add above once you add above change the start to, to zero and then is 0.1 which is similar to this part and then you can point have uh, 51 points here now we want to make this further all the way to 10 gig gigahertz and as you can see we add in below here the start is 2 and will be 10 and we can save it 101 and we can change it to log scale or linear stable linear uh, you can choose uh, any of those each of them has its own uh, pros and cons so let's save it linear count for now and okay and then I run the uh, result as you can see this is from the past it's, it goes from 0.01 all the way to and this part is gone because it's just added so this is how it looks like before but with this uh, improvement that we made I already solved it you'll see the curve going all the way to 10 gigahertz and it's more obvious at this point so as you can see you'll get a better result so that's the improvement that we made uh, on top of that uh, we are going to make uh, uh, another change in the matrix that's called matrix reduction so as you can see when I click here there is nothing under uh, reduce matrix although the only one is the original one and when you look at it there is no drop box here it's original we have the small die and the big die and uh, the resistance and inductance ACRL and DCRL However, uh, sometimes there are needs uh, for some customers. For instance, the customer might, what, might be interested to know that, okay, what is the uh, value if these two are uh, connected together, like electrically they are connected together. Because as of now, we're looking, the, looking at them one by one. So uh, let's try to do that. Here, uh, because uh, we're going to connect them together, and the uh, current is flowing this way so they'll be in parallel therefore we use in parallel if they were in series we use uh, join in series etc and there are other uh, features here that I'll explain I'll, I'll explain return path in, in the next video for now let's say join in parallel so here uh, this die is called the small die and the other one is called big die so uh, we can choose uh, all three of these together and then we call it join parallel for 
small die, same as here. And then save and create. If we say save and close, it will close this window. But for now, we say save and uh, create. So as you can see, it's it's created now. Uh, if you want make another one, we can do that. Uh, for instance, uh, we can choose just between. Uh, let's say you 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 are interested in these two only, one and two of the big die. So we choose choose these two say big die one and two and this one we change it to big die so we don't confuse also these are all names you can uh, make whatever name you're interested so save and close now that I go here I see there are two matrices and uh, these are all post processing so once you solve the uh, problem the Nothing else needs to be done. So, uh, sorry, you right click here, you go to matrix, and now you'll see a drop menu original and join parallel. As you can see, this is for the uh, small die and for the big die, and you'll, you'll see how the result looks like. If this is confusing for you, let me make it simpler. Just delete this one. Just stick with the small thing, and we look at the matrix again. So as you can see, it's uh, all those uh, four uh, dies over there, and he uh, deletes all of them are there. But for the small dies, only one row. And uh, let's say we want to look at the inductance. So this is the inductance, and if you want the self term, you see the self uh, inductance of uh, the part is 3.7 uh, nano henry whereas for the others it is just uh, individual one by one this is useful when you like to have a combination of two or three uh, source of sync and uh, understand how the combination of them works out hope you like this video the next one i'm going to show another uh, use of this feature